Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Hi, Bethany Locke and Parker Lipman. Thank you and welcome to the Valder BB Show. I'm broadcasting live out of Dallas, Texas, but I get to talk to people all over the planet. So thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Well, we're going we're gonna to talk about the iconic Shure franchise, which you guys are the stars of. We're going to start with you, Beth- Bethany. Tell me about what we're going to be seeing now today. That's what my audience told me they want to know. Yeah, definitely. So you're going to see a lot of relationships for sure. Um, We came into this house, obviously, as a close group of friends. So you're going to get a look into our friendships and our backgrounds. One thing about this show is they really showed our families, our diverse backgrounds, and definitely how we party and get down as a group. All right. I'm going to come back because I want to know a little more about your background. But, Parker, they told me you are the guy, or at least you think you're the guy. You are the guy uh, uh, because you're related or you're part of the uh, Zaxby's um, clan. Tell me about that. I mean, I wouldn't say that defines me, but, I mean, I've always been involved with my family's brand. I mean, from the start, like, I worked actually, like, in the kitchen, frying the chicken to working the drive through And then I kind of did my own thing, got into construction, and now I'm back right in the family business. But I wouldn't say that necessarily defines who I am. Well, is 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 the uh, event being being filmed at your summer lake house or what? Yes, ma'am. So actually, for the last ten years as a group, we have collectively gone up to my lake house to kind of get out of the fast-paced life in Buckhead. Just this, but this go around's a little different because it's all videotaped and captured, so you can just kind of see the drama unfold. It's going to be kind of hot because I heard your <laughs> ex girlfriend and your current girlfriend, something like that, is going to be under that roof. Yes, and I do not recommend that to anyone. So, anybody out there, do not do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, I believe you, and I take your advice. That is a volatile mix, that usually doesn't work out. But will your guests be impacted by your ex and your current? Will, will it spill over to them, or is it something you handle? I mean, it's, it's, it's more so just, like, I wanted, like, everyone to feel included, and I didn't want anyone to feel left out. But in the end, it ends up coming and biting me right in the ass. But, I mean, what it comes <laughs> down to is I feel like the world and the, the viewers that watch this show will possibly be able to kind of relate to – this in a sense when it comes to being in a relationship and having an ex that you have like some serious history with and somebody that you loved at one point. So, I mean, it's, it's, it is, it's, it's a lot. It sounds and we're like all friends. So sometimes yeah. you get stuck in the middle. So it does spill over a little bit because well, Bethany, I'm glad we all of them. You know, okay, I'm glad we the, got the, he's the peacekeeper. So yeah, you're known as the peacekeeper, but you've got a kind of a different kind of background, Ethiopian and Jamaican. Tell me yeah. how you bring this to the group and still remain American. Yeah, I mean, I think you'll definitely see my culture on the show a lot. Um, I I come from a group that's really accepting of, you know, every background. So it's easy to kind of be myself and bring that to them. They're so open minded about it all. I mean, Parker's tried Jamaican and Ethiopian food, so, (laughs) you know, they're, um, yeah, it's easy. It's easy to kind of bring that to the group and feel open about it. Well, every time Tanya comes over, she brings over some type of yummy dish from her. Yeah, last time it was Jamaican patties. He loved them. (laughs) Well, I have Ethiopian friends, and they love food, and I love eating their food. You, though, are a peacekeeper, they told me. You are the soother up person. Is that just your personality? Yeah, I mean, if we're all 
doing okay and having a good time. Those are the best vibes. I don't want to see any of my friends hurting or, you know, not talking to each other because we are so close at the end of the day. And, you know, when one person's in the outs, it does kind of affect the group. So I try my best to get everyone to just talk it out and get back together and also just feel validated in their feelings because everyone's, you know, you know, should feel good about them because you guys all like got hurt at the end of the day. So. Park, I'm going to wrap up with you. People tune into reality shows, especially with you millennials. They want to see fighting and hair pulling and, and, and clothes ripped off. Uh, or, you know, are you guys different or are we going to see that? I mean, you're, it's one of those things I can't really give too much away. But, man, I got to tell you, dude, I, I take some serious just emotional just jabs. And the whole time I'm just, like, trying to block <laughs> in every sense <laughs> I mean, it was it was a lot because I mean, imagine it like you're literally trapped in a house with no phone, no technology, and all of your best friends, which every single person has like a loud personality. So I mean, it's just a lot goes down. You don't have to see that on the show. All right. Well, we're gonna tune in. When do you guys? When do you want us to tune in, Parker? Uh, June twenty third at nine o'clock. All right. I'm gonna hold you and Bethany to exactly what you said. I'm gonna be looking for that mediator in Bethany, and I'm going to be looking for that. I'm okay in you, Parker. Thanks for being my guest on the Valder BB show. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands free, pocket free, purse free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.